Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about a demand and supply equilibrium schedule and graph. Okay guys so in this video we're going to look at deriving equilibrium uh, supply and demand on a graph. We're going to take the market for vanilla ice cream which is quite the generic market with lots of buyers and sellers none of which dictate price and what we have over on the left hand side here is the supply and demand schedule. So this is a table of figures that have the price of the product, the quantity demanded and quantity supplied. Over on the right hand side we have our equilibrium graph where we've taken these demand schedule figures as we've shown in previous videos and mapped them out to give us both a demand curve and a supply curve. So in order to determine the equilibrium point on this graph here what we're going to do is we're going to start off at a higher uh, price level than equilibrium. So we're going to start off here and assume that we've dropped into a market at one point in time. The price of vanilla per kilo is five and we can bring that price straight across to where it hits both our demand and our supply curve. So at a price of five, the quantity demanded where it hits our demand curve is 100 and the quantity supplied is way over here at 500. So we have suppliers that wish to sell 500 kilos of vanilla, buyers who only wish to buy 100 kilos, and what we would see in that case is a surplus on the market. And what this surplus means is that firms will start to see on the ground their stocks increasing. They won't be selling all their stocks. That gives them a signal then, provides a signal, for producers in this market to start decreasing the price level. So they will decrease the price level to sell off that increased stock. At the same time, we know that if the price decreases on the market, well then people will want to start buying more of that output. So quantity demanded is going to increase, which means we show that going over to the right. If prices drop enough, the supply, quantity supplied on the market will fall, and quantity demanded will increase so much that they reach one another at this equilibrium point here. And what this equilibrium point means is one, it is at a price of three euro on the market and a quantity both supplied and demanded of 300. So what we have here at three euro is the willingness and ability of people to purchase the product is matched by both the willingness and the ability of firms to actually produce it. So that's a market clearing price. And the idea of equilibrium is that there is no tendency to change. So at a price of three euro, unless something outside of what's happening here changes, such as an increase in the cost price of the product, or maybe a change in the income level, unless something outside changes, the market will show no tendency to change from this equilibrium point. And we can see this equilibrium point over in our demand and supply schedule over here at a price of three euro. The quantity demanded is 300, as is the quantity supplied. So the equivalent point on our diagram is the equilibrium where everything is equal to one another on our demand and supply schedule. I hope you call back to Cultonomics soon. Bye for now.